he goes, Sal is working uh, Friday night somewhere, and uh, he needs a place to stay because he'll be working late. He wants to use your apartment to crash. Oh, my God. <laughs> use whose apartment? Mine. Are you serious? Tonight. Oh, tonight. <laughs> tonight he wants to use my apartment. <laughs> I go, Gary, it's a goof. And he goes, no, I don't think it's a goof. It's got to be a goof. <clears throat> He's really? dead serious. You ask that. Come on. <clears throat> He's dead serious. <laughs> and so I said, uh, <gasps> you know, I'm doing everything I can, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, right? Yeah. So he goes, Sal's dead serious. He wants to use your apartment tonight. I go, Gary, you don't know when a bit's going on? It's got to be a bit. It's a bit. It's a bit. They're setting you up. I think Sal's a funny guy, and if this is a bit, it's the funniest one. Is it a bit? I have a great idea, Sal. <laughs> it was a bit, right? If I could take credit as a bit, as it being funny, I'll say it's a bit, but it wasn't a bit. Are so you, so Gary, Gary says to me, it's not a bit. Sal's dead serious. And, and, and Sal even said to him, you know, this is a really weird job. He goes, every, he goes, any job I ever had, people never told me I was inappropriate. But here, every minute, people are telling me I'm inappropriate and saying weird things. Right. Oh, my God. All day long. I, Sal, why would I want you in my apartment sleeping? It's not that. I didn't have a place to stay. Who cares? That's your Why problem. Why is that his problem? <laughs> because he's... I don't want to see you ever in my apartment. <laughs> I... You're a weirdo. What were you thinking? Tonight's Survivor. I figured we you both love Survivor. You watch it together? Yeah, we both love Survivor. <laughs> Sal, come on. He had a whole evening right, plan. The, uh, Sal, have you ever heard any one of it. us asking him to do that? You know that? what? If it was in, if a I... A date, in other words, like we could sit and watch TV together we'll on the couch. have some laughs with Beth, watch Survivor. We both love it. We both talk about You're it. insane. Oh How am I insane? You know what, Howard? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's so Sal, much, uh, a month ago, uh, you were a, fan, a super fan of the show. You still are. Now you're... You still now you're. Wor <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you're inside the door somehow. <laughs> <laughs> somehow, thank you. Go do your TV show. <laughs> Get in your jammies, and you, Beth, and Howard watch Survivor. It would have been easy because you would have cooked. We While you're hopped eating in a, a limo meal. with Ronnie in the morning, so it's just convenient. <laughs> oh, you're full of it, man. You just you, you didn't really think all this. Was How do I get here? How would I get here, Robin? Oh my goodness! Uh, I was laying in bed last night watching Survivor, thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. I was watching it, and Beth turns to me, and she goes, I wonder if Sal was here, what he would be saying. Right. <laughs> what would he add to this? Yeah, like, did he think he was going to be in bed with us? <laughs> I told her about it. She didn't hear it. I'm going to play that later in the show. Yeah, that was great. You have to, because I tried to relay that to people, and no one believed me. David Spade called me. It was the funniest phone message ever. I should really play it on the air. About this whole thing? Yeah, because, you know, he had Skippy, his assistant, attack him. <laughs> he was seeing shades of Skippy and Sal. Oh, boy. He goes, well, the only thing is, he goes, you know, with Skippy, I didn't see it coming, but at least this guy is giving you all the warning signals. <laughs> <laughs> if you choose to ignore these warnings. <laughs> also, uh, Skippy was about 300 pounds heavier. Yeah, but he, also, and he goes, you know, uh, Skippy, I, I don't know. I took him... Uh, I took him to parties with me. He was hanging out with all these people. And then he would look at me and <laughs> say, hey, how come he can do it? I could do it. And right. Sal's probably there going, hey, the guy talks for four hours. I talk for 12. Well, I should be him. <laughs> he says, before you know it, he's trying to kill you. Right. <laughs> he goes, and he starts laughing. He gets angry and starts tasering you. It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sal was still trying to explain himself yesterday afternoon. Hey, Sal, so I didn't understand something. Yeah. So 9 o'clock, 8 to 9 o'clock is Survivor. Right. So you were going to be at my place from 8 to 9 o'clock. Right. But and I thought you had to work. 9.40, I had a guest spot. I had so a, what were you going to do after Survivor? Just run down to the guest spot? Yeah, it was on, you know, it was uptown. And then I was, it was, it was only a 10 minute guest spot. Oh, and then you'd come back and sleep over my place. <laughs> right, but I okay. wanted to watch Survivor with you because I thought we would have a good time. Well, right. I said to him, well, if you're going to be out till after 9.40, Howard and Beth would already be asleep. What do you need, a, a key to the apartment? Yeah, what would you do? Get a key, I guess, huh? <laughs> you know, what yeah, were you thinking? Of course. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even, didn't even want to go there, but I was going to ask you to come to the comedy show. I but you may, you know. Yeah, but I go to bed early. Yeah, I know. But maybe, maybe for you, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> right, because you're such a good friend. Because <clears throat> we're having so much fun. <laughs> this is a little weird, but when Survivor kicked on, just like you, I was thinking about you. Like No, I didn't say I was thinking oh, about you. Oh, dear. I said Beth brought up a no, joke. No, I'm just saying it, it probably triggered a thought because of what happened yesterday. No, you know? not at all. 
I'll be honest with you, no. <laughs> it so didn't. Mean to it, me. did. I, it didn't trigger a thought. It's I know just, you think that. It just didn't. It didn't matter to me. Beth turned to me and said, I wonder what Sal, what Sal, she goes, did Sal think he'd be in the bed with us? I go, oddly, yes. He asked, he said, you have a big bed. You're right. mental. <laughs> my mom Mental is the me. kindest word you could yeah. possibly use. My mom called me. She was really worried. Yeah. I'm fine. No, you no, really need fine. a medical doctor. <laughs> I'm not even going to explain my rationale. I'm fine. You have no rationale. Um, no, <laughs> You're here irrational. Thing, Here, no, here's the thing, Howard. <laughs> I, yesterday, on my phone, after Survivor, my phone rang. Well, I'm going to replay your... You thought it was Howard. I thought it was Howard. It, was, it said unavailable. I said this is un it says unavailable. It's blocked. I bet you it's just Howard saying, "Hey." Sal's parents called him after the show yesterday to see if he was all right. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. My and mom. they they ask him. I I don't think he's the person to yeah. ask. Call me. She said, I'll my, tell you he's got, not all right. I got a lot of calls yesterday, Howard, from people we know who were just like, you know, ha ha ha. But really, well, wait till we play at the quarter to eight. No, but, but everyone was like, <laughs> I got calls from people like, ha ha ha. It was funny, but really. You know, you realize that you've got an <coughs> ill person working there. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. They're like, no, no, no. Well, you know what? One of the guys said, I think it was uh, Doug or Richard or somebody said, let's get Sal evaluated by a psychiatrist on the air. Well, I, yesterday when the thing was going on, you said, you need to go see a psychiatrist. And I said, before you can come back. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was in a car with a real estate agent yesterday <laughs> bragging that it was me. And then right. after like 30 seconds of it, he just shut it off. He goes, no, that's not my son. That's somebody else. Yeah, I must have been mistaken. Yeah, He's on a different my, show. And my mother goes, what's the matter with you? You're telling people you're locked up in a pizzeria. You're making us, us, us all sound like a bunch of idiots like you. <laughs> yeah, he had such a miserable childhood. I did. Oh, oh my God. Pizzeria. What was it? What's a pizzeria? That's, that's how they say it to pizzeria. do the right thing. That's yeah. what Danny goes. Nobody tells me how to tell, run my pizzeria. So pizzeria. What, what exactly was so miserable about your childhood, though? Seriously. Get to work. Right after. Right wah, after. wah. No, seriously. What, what, you had yeah. to work? Is that it? Yeah. Oh. Seven days a week. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> Were you beaten? I could what? have said cancer. You would have, I would have had the same reply from you, sick bastard. <laughs> no, we no. wouldn't. No. no. Cancer's Seven different. days a week. I, w I was a victim of slave labor. Oh. <laughs> Making pizza? Yeah, no offense, Robin. We got no. free pizza. <laughs> but what did you have to do with the pizza pizzeria? Nothing. I had to make pizza. I had to roll the dough. You didn't make pizza at seven. No, I had to roll the dough. I had to, I had to uh, grind the cheese. But I you were learning make... a skill. You're hanging out with your family. The probably fun people came into the pizzeria. No, not at all. It was, it was a terrible. certain community. No, it was awful. And I couldn't go out with my friends and all my... And at week after wah, wah, wah. My father didn't have a show on E. Well, and after the summer, everybody <laughs> comes back. I went skiing. I went to California. I went to Disney. You know, I went to the back to make sauce. Yeah, your you family know? didn't wow, have money. Wow, boy, you, you had, had friends who went skiing and went to California? Yeah, what a... Cool. Yeah. Where did you get nightmare. friends who did that? Skiing. You know, that's all you remember when you're a kid. You remember all the good things everybody else really? was doing but you. I, I don't it recall sucked. anybody in my Nobody situation skied, doing it. and I wasn't working. Now he wants you to be his fun daddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give him the childhood he never had. Yeah. None of my friends ever went to California. Just <laughs> imagine your poor father in that really My poor car, father. Listening to you try to abandon him for Howard yesterday. I love my dad. Don't, I don't do need you ever to... Do you ever imagine that, like, wait, Howard talks behind the microphone all those hours. I could do the same thing. Why does he have all the success? Do you ever find yourself saying that? No, I just think... Be honest. No, it's... Come not, on. I don't want to be you. I want to be a, beside you, not with exactly. you. Exactly. He doesn't, Howard, he doesn't want to be you. See, he's not looking uh -huh. at that... It's even worse. Right now. It's even worse than what I really he's is. looking at is the people around you saying, I could be them. Oh. Right. Once no. he knocks us all off, then he could be you. <laughs> yeah, so if you, go, if you go postal, you're going to kill everyone else and just sit next I to me no on the throne. I to kill anybody. You're uh, the only yet. safe one. Yeah. I, did have, I had a strange dream. Skippy uh, kept it under control, too. Right. I had a strange dream last night, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I think it means about me killing myself. Oh, jeez. What, what, what was, was the, the dream? dream? My mom was cooking, and there was some <laughs> leftover provolone, and she wrapped it in cellophane, and it said nine ninety nine on the provolone. She goes, "You got to return this for Howard." Right. right. So it was used provolone, though. Right. So I go to the deli, and I go, "I got to return this." And the guy goes, "What are you talking about? This is used." I go, "I got it. I got to return it for Howard." He goes, "I don't care. You have to." Get... He goes, "It's used." And I said, "Please, I'll give you. I'll give you money to return it." Like I wanted to pay him. Right. And he says, no, I can't. And I, I got real nervous. And I go, but if it doesn't happen, this is what will happen to me. And there was a poster on the wall in the deli. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember what the poster was. It was like some magic marker on just scribbled. 
And when I pulled the poster down, there was a picture of guns and knives. <laughs> and that okay, was look. it. And then I woke up. <laughs> oh, my. I've had the same dream. A Robin, what times. does that mean? Uh... Uh, I don't know, it but it's all crazy. It's it, it makes me me very afraid. I mean, you, you want to kill a piece of provolone? I give you <laughs> your dreams in Italian. Do you own a gun, Sal? But it's all no. This... But if I did, I'd shoot you. It's <laughs> all this how <laughs> stuff. You're even in his dreams. See, this is yeah. crazy. I'm the man of his dreams. Right in his dreams, it, it, like he can't even relax in his dreams. In his dreams, he has to somehow please you. The, the, returning the provolone is going to make something good for you. All right, look. Oh, it's weird. Listen to me. Yes. His life depends on it. I'm fine. I do not want Doing to Doing things house. for you and getting your 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 approval. So what so wait, let me just get my question answered. <laughs> so after Survivor, you were gonna go down to the gig. At nine forty I was going to the gig, it was a ten minute spot. Then you were what? Gonna have the key to my place, come back up and go to bed? Yeah, and I, yeah, I thought maybe you'd probably still be awake because you know, you, you sleep sporadically. So. Oh, he no. does. Well, he knows your sleep patterns. I don't know how he knows any of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the emails, I look at the times that you write. So oh, something. Oh, oh, oh my oh, goodness! <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> because you're wow. an idiot. I mean, you know, you, you don't gauge things properly. No, because he's not a stalker. Would I'm you have? Would either. you have made a snack for us? <laughs> yeah, really? would have. Yeah. Would've. So yeah. he wants to like be your major domo. He'd come to your house. And I would have made and you. Clean. What would you have made me? Oreo Zeppelis. You would have loved them. So you would have whipped up a little meal for me after you uh, came back from uh, yep. your gig? <laughs> would you have crawled in bed with Howard to, yeah, to I, watch Survivor? Just, yeah! I mean, what do you mean, yeah? He's got to believe me. I don't know this for a fact, but I'm assuming uh, you have a huge bed. What? Yeah, I love this. Yeah. Community bed. Please Wait, tell me part of this is a joke, man. Building in. There's no bed big enough that two guys could be in it watch a Survivor oh, and yeah? not be gay. All you right. know what? I and assume in my picture of how this is going to go down, he's going to be between Howard and Beth. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He wouldn't want. He yeah. didn't want to sleep been... on my futon, but he'll crawl in bed with Howard. I don't even understand what you're saying. Sal, you really wanted whoa, to whoa, sleep whoa, whoa, in whoa. the same bed. You're if, telling me. If you said there's no room, you want to sleep in the bed, I would have said, right. yeah, whatever. I would have maybe slept I, on the corner or something. I don't know. <laughs> I would slept on the floor, on the rug. You're insane. Like, this is... Dude, I know you're putting no. me on now. No, Sal. I would have slept in the bed if. There was no room any place if you want, like with, with Beth or whatever. What's the big deal? You put on your boxers and... No, you gotta come, man. You gotta shut up. <laughs> All right, I'll shut up. I wouldn't have slept in your bed. I wouldn't have. Oh, my God. Are his parents sure he's okay now? Are they still wow. listening? Any guy out there oh. would sleep in a bed. No, I think they would. Not with Howard Stern. Wait, right. you're saying any guy in the world would sleep in a bed with Howard Stern? I guarantee Stern. you a guy right now driving to a job to, you know, change some air conditioning, <laughs> listening to us. Yeah, that's say, the you guy. know what? I, I would I, I would sleep in a bed with Howard Stern. No, that guy, would, would, punch punch face, <laughs> that guy would punch you in the face, dude. punch you in the face for being a fruit. This it, is getting weirder and I'm weirder. I'm not fruity. What's, not the pay, at all. what's the payoff, though? I can understand if you want to if you want to hang around with Howard for an hour and ask him about the show. There's a payoff there as a fan. What's the payoff for being in the same bed as him? Like you know, Dutch ovens and stuff no, like stop. that. No, You're being a no, no, guy. no. What's no, there is no payoff if. If but why would any guy want to do it then? No, I'm saying I wouldn't want to do it if, if there was no room and Howard says, hey, you want to sleep in my bed? <laughs> you, just, you just said any guy out there would want to do that. Yeah, any guy of Howard Stern would probably want to sleep. But why? Just, just to hang out. Just do say, you, hey, I spent the night with Howard. Do you, do you imagine? <laughs> do with sex. <laughs> Do you imagine like a bucket of popcorn between you two and you guys both yeah. reaching into well, the popcorn? He wants closeness. He wants you to really be his dad. Hey, Gary, would you sleep with your dad in bed? Hey, Sal, say this. But the most the beautiful point. the most beautiful thing you can do is share your bed. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. The, the answer to the question is, would I sleep with my dad in bed if we were somewhere and we had no choice? I would share a bed with my dad, but Howard's not your dad. But that's, that's, right. that's the point we're making. Dad. This is that's what I'm saying. He and really a... wants to replace Hi, his daddy. own father with you. But that's my point, that you said if there was no room, if there was no but room But that's Howard. my dad, not a stranger. Which Howard Howard's is not a stranger to me. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> right. In essence, he is. All right. I am a stranger to you. You don't know me. All right. right. I like to know you. I don't want to know you. Okay. Ever. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I want to be a nice person. Why would I need you in the bed is what I want to But know. see, that's even wacky thinking. Why Why is your closeness to him and, your, and or the whole thing that you do with him, you being nice? It's really not, you're not being nice to him. It's about what you're getting out of it. Yeah, you, it's your needs. So, so far, you're, you haven't given Howard anything. Right. He gets to sleep with you? <laughs> right. 
You know what? If I've given him me. Well, he was going to cook him a snack or make yeah, him a snack. Italian yeah. hamburgers. Yeah, yeah it's the all stuff. Uh, Oreo Zeppelis. I'm yeah. sure Howard's crazy. Yeah, but why <laughs> me? In other words, because I'm famous. Yes, no, you're Howard. No, because you've given. Uh, you see, if I get into it, it's just. Well, why me? I got to know. Please given, get into it. Yeah. Because I've given you what? I was a stockbroker. I was successful. I made a lot of money. I thought, it was, I thought it was happy. You were a stockbroker. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was you, happy. And then what happened? Because I'm a ball breaker and a prankster and everything, and you accepted that. You hired me. You have given me true happiness without money, monetarily. Oh. All I want to do now is take care of my children, financially, my wife. But you have given me something. You have made me a happy person. Right. You've done that for me. You've and now you want to sleep in the bed with him? No. And, <laughs> and it's just, so that's what you've done for me. All right. And I thank you for that. All right. But you don't, but you want to take it to some level that's insane. Right. No, it's just that I thought that by you giving me this 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 feeling of, of happiness, which is so hard yeah. to find in the world, that I feel like, hey, you know what? You've done that for me. What, you must, so what are you going to do there for me? There must, there you must just be sleep more. in my bed? Well, there must be more. I mean, if you have... If you, oh, my God. No, hold on, no, no, i got to get out of here. <laughs> Wait, there must be more no, happiness. If you, if, you, if, you, if you extended yourself that much for me... Right. I hired you because you did a good job. Right. right. That's it. Right, did it do it on you then? But what's the more? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is the more? What are you looking for now? Yeah. I don't know. I I just... uh, Climax? No, I mean, like, you hear you hear Howard going out with his friends. You hear Howard... Oh, spending, my goodness. I mean, goodness. you know, he talks about it. Why can't I sit at that table? Why can't I, you know? That's what, But I have to separate Howard, that. you're Jesus, and he really wants to go to the Last Supper. You won't let him. Wow. Guys, we're taking this way too lightly. I'm, t- I'm not. <coughs> I'm, it's fine. I've separated. But it's not fine. Sal, yes. start your own table. Gotcha. Can you see what I just said? Yeah. What does and that your mean? own bed? That means keep away from you. I'm right. continuing to do no, what I do. No, that's not what it means. No, it means, it, it means, means start your own table. It means if my life sounds so exciting to you, make a couple of friends, some real friends, some guys who want to be there with you, and make a make a life. Don't look at my life as a, the secret to your happiness. No. My life is not the secret to your happiness. Uh, Trust me. You are the you you are blessed, Howard, and you have the ability to transfer the blessing. And now you're trying not to. That's called What's magical wrong thinking. With you? You're thinking I'm your magical amulet. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm not. Oh, no. You know what? I think this even goes even deeper. Like I know, like I got four or five buddies that I grew up with that are like my they're just my best friends, and Artie's got that too. Do you have that? Yeah, I you, do. So why aren't they at your table? Yeah, they are. So what's but, wrong with that table? That's uh, not a good well, table. You're bringing them to Howard's it's not, table? It's not good enough. It's not Howard's table. It's not good enough. It's not. It's not good enough. It's not. It's My There's table's much better. This Do you know? <laughs> He's waiting for Elijah. You know, Artie, Artie, like. <laughs> Anybody got a stun gun? There's a seat missing. <laughs> There's a seat missing at your table. It's an empty seat. So it's now the, you want Howard. It's a chair for Elijah. There is. You want Howard to hang with your five high school buddies? <laughs> <laughs> now i got to hang around with Sal and his friends. Do you know how you can visit with your somebody you truly care about and not have conversations? Conversation, but be at peace. Right. That's how. Uh, but that's it's how Jesus. It no, but that's how I feel. I can sit next to Howard on a couch and watch TV without saying a word. You haven't I done that. You don't know that. You're telepathically gay. How with do him? you know sitting at a, on a couch with me <laughs> is gonna do that for you? That wouldn't be creepy. <laughs> because of the um, of the comfort you bring, the aura you oh have. Oh my mm-hmm. God! Jesus well, now, please, 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 you know please, you're it, now making this up. We hired the craziest oh of the black guys. Be serious. No, my point is, I'm trying to get away from your gay perspective. And no, I'm, but it's all about I'm, you, I'm, I'm and you're shifting, moving closer to I'm it. I'm shifting from gay to. Just, just, just gratitude. Is that, gratitude. Is that how you You're felt when we went gay. out to dinner? I'm shifting from gr- gay to gratitude. I'm just saying that by being in Howard's presence, just hanging out, I feel better. <gasps> oh, You're switching from better. gay to unbelievably did, gay. Did, did you feel that way when you, we all I went am to your, dinner? I, in other words, make you feel better because... Uh, and you like that feeling, and you just want more and more. But you know what that feeling is? I become Probably. your heroine. You validate him by by acknowledging him. <clears throat> that you no, it's him. more than that. He's saying he feels better. Like the Howard's like Valium to him. Like I feel better when I'm around Beth. No, he dude. feels better when he's around me. Yeah, I do. I do. <clears throat> if and, Howard's like your heroine, that's Sal, why, you should really try real heroin. And then when, and when you say <laughs> things like, you know you'd be less better creepy, off. Yeah. it's great. <laughs> and that's why it hurts so much when you say things like, get out of here, oh, or you idiot. Right. It right. hurts because well, you are an idiot. Okay. And you're an idiot and you should get out of here. All right, Howard, here's a story I heard yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Because all the stories were coming out. 
You, you, I, I, it was a couple of weeks ago. Oh, we don't even have to replay yesterday. This is creepier than yesterday. Yeah, well, but well people, now we got two things to replay. Jeez. Oh, yeah. It's not creepy. You were talking to Sal a couple of weeks ago, right? <laughs> yeah. And I guess you cut him off. I don't know if it was on the air or off the air. You cut yeah. him off, and you're like, I, I don't need to hear what you have to say. I heard Sal was in the men's room, like pacing around going, why doesn't he care what I have to say? I have things to say. I have a lot of things. I don't I'm, I'm care. Interesting. He's talking to That's himself in the bathroom? I don't care. Uh, whoever that. told me that, please come in. It was the guy with the retard game I was talking to you about. Remember? No, no, no. no. Somebody saw you in the men's room pacing back and forth. It wasn't me. Yeah. He was pacing back and like forth. Like saying, like, why doesn't... Here, Jason. Oh, right, what happened, Jason? No, it's a, sorry, it's not a lie. It happened. He, he said, I don't understand. I'm an interesting yeah. guy. I have things to say. And I was really bummed out that he kicked that's, me out. It's Jason, that you're lying. You're no, blatantly I'm not. lying. You're blatantly lying. No, Why do I believe Jason? I believe he Jason. He did it. Here's a guy who eats strawberries and keeps a toothpick in his mouth all day because he wishes he was you. I don't want to be you. Oh, you I just like to you be around you. You want to be around you. You want to be with him. What, when have you seen me eat a strawberry? You eat a whole tub of strawberries just like Howard does. I've never seen Anyone who's seen me eat strawberries in the last three weeks. I'm gonna bend you. Come in here and sit. Hey, why can't Jason be Howard and you hang around Jason? <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good point. Why can't you hang around with Jason? <laughs> Nobody wants to hang around with Jason. I mean, why? It's like hanging. What's wrong with Jason? Uh, he's a good. He's a good guy, guy and everything. Yeah. It's not about Jay. Jason's <clears throat> not Jason's the guy. Not famous. I listen. No. You don't don't say it. that. Don't pull that famous crap. I, but it is. I hate celebrities. I could care That's less not true. You, you're practically stalking Ace Frehley That's the he's only famous. exception. Ace was the only exception. <laughs> and how less about celebrities. Ace and Howard. I was I'm the only so one with balls to tell John food. Stewart to his face that he stinks. And now that you guys... That was even weird. But that's yeah. even your way yeah. of having no contact one, with celebrities. No one thinks John <laughs> Stewart stinks. That was weird. Uh, that was weird when you went to John Stewart. I'm sorry if I got a little weird. And that's okay. a, I, can, I can tell you also, that's a weird way of star effing because now your story is right. I told John Stewart what a jerk he is. Right. And oh, I'm he just got John Stewart's attention. Right. Oh, my God. But you John do. Stewart will remember yeah, him. Yeah, Stu, you're on the air. Yeah, can't you just see Sal was looking for attention, man? He's playing you guys like a freaking No, punk. No, unfortunately, he's not playing us. Are you sure, man? Yeah. You should see his face. And worse and worse. It's not a big deal. All I'm saying is that Howard's a good guy. He hired me, and he makes me happy, just like just like you feel happy, sir, in your car right now listening to his radio show on a daily basis. There are moments That's that all it is. I'm looking at him now. His lip is quivering sometimes during this conversation. He's sometimes on the verge of tears. Yeah. You know, you know He's what's, out of his mind. Howard, you know yeah. what's really weird? You know how over the years we o you always meet the lawyer who wants to be in the rock band? And the, yeah. Right. Yeah. So Sal's a stockbroker who did well and wanted to be something better, and he got it, and now he's like really messing it up. I'm not Andrew, you're on the air. Sort of are. All right. Hey, Andrew, Howard, big yeah. fan. E -E -E. Hey, hey, if one of the uh, stagehands at Letterman did this, how fast would he be on his ass and working at the deli with that retard across the street? He'd be fired. Definitely. We're trying to understand. Yeah. Right. Now, luckily, yeah, we, Sal, we hire yeah. the handicapped. <laughs> Sal has something to fall back on. He can make pizza. <laughs> yeah. He can make pizza. Yeah, we're pizza. not worried about him at the pizzeria. <laughs> Oh, Thank you. Though. I'm sorry. Yeah, hook nose. Go ahead. Hook nose, Mike. Everybody. Good morning, Howard. You hook nose, you bastard. Listen, hey. uh, first of all, Howard, does this does this scare you at all? The way Sal's acting, does this uh, put a little fear in? in fear? I, 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 you know what? I'm an idiot. I. Everyone is telling me to be afraid, but I'm not. I, I mean, know you. You seem to be the last to see this all the time. I am, but there is something wrong with Sal. No, because I mean, I, I know, I know he's fine. I know that, honest. but I don't think he's. Violent, I hope no, not. It's not just, yet, it's anyway. not in me. It's just not in me. I'm not a violent person. I, I even always throw think a football. these people can right. change their minds at any point <laughs> and become violent. So what do I do? You're, you're, you seem to be... Uh... Well, I, oh, uh, don't ask her, please. Truly, I don't think Sal is dangerous. All right, that's the point. Oh, Somebody good. else saying this stuff, I would say, get him out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you ever been arrested? Uh, one time, as a 16-year-old, I kicked in a Burger King window, a drive-thru, as a, as a goof, and it broke. I didn't mean to break it. All right. So I stayed there, and they arrested me, and then there was a, um... Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> There's more? <yeah. laughs> no, but it was another thing. It was, a, it was a chick and a couple of guys, and it was just a misunderstanding. This girl got really embarrassed, and... But what happened? It was, was one girl and seven guys at a party, and we were all drinking heavily, and it turned into, you know... Did anybody hit anybody? Is that what happened? No, it no, sounds it like... No, sex. It's, uh, you, know, oh, and, you did sex with the girl? Yeah, and what she said she you were she was raped. Yeah, so you you were accused of rape. Oh, 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 no, I wasn't. Oh. Uh, she she took it all back oh, because she did. her girlfriends walked in with four guys <laughs> around her, and I was the guy in the middle, oh. and obviously you know. So the cops, they, the girl screamed rape because her girlfriend saw it, and then four cop cars came, and they brought us down to the precinct. Oh, he's fine. There's nothing wrong with him. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> and then, uh, and then there was a time you cursed at a bunch of kids <laughs> at the karaoke. Camp. Was there another uh, incident? <laughs> uh, graffiti on the back. Oh. <laughs> you were arrested well, three times. No, well. I, my dad's pizza shop next door was a King Cullen, and uh, I started spraying. They used to have a doorbell on the back for the trucks to come in and load, so I found some spray paint in my dad's, uh, the back area of my pizza shop, and I just wrote, like, please ring the bell real big and with an arrow to the uh, end. So you were arrested for... As I did that, the manager opened the door, and I had practically spray painted his hand. And I uh, was, yeah. All right, so you uh, kicked, so you were arrested for a violent act. You were arrested Mexico. for vandalism. You were arrested for attempted rape. <laughs> He's got a rap sheet as long as your arm. Oh, no, I've never been arrested. Anything else? You want to come clean? Let's hear. What else? That's it. No. I, I mean, is there one other no, thing? No, no, no. The nothing. incident at your kid's camp that wasn't an arrest, it was just you were banned. Yeah, that I'm banned from my kid's camp for cursing on a karaoke machine in front of families. Um, that's because I was on Bike and didn't whine. <laughs> I guess uh, K Rock doesn't do background checks, huh? <laughs> no. If they did, you wouldn't be here, Mr. Normal. I never got arrested. He, what? He was wrong with him. I oh, forget about his this Friday night dates. Keep you know, him you're, happy. You're talking about me yeah. in bed. Richard he's a Christie, serial killer. He offered, Dude. he offered me to sleep in his bed with him. Before I didn't him. offer. I said, if you stay over, you can, you're welcome to stay over. But all I have is a futon, and you'd have to sleep on that. Yeah, which yeah. he said he hasn't changed in four weeks. Yeah, but you know what? The, what was wrong with his place? You're busy looking to get into my apartment. At the end of the day, right. you're all in the same bed. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're in bed with... Hey, hey now. I, don't, I think Sal may be gay to the 10th power here. <laughs> I mean, there's all kinds of sides sitting on the couch, he's sharing not, your bed. He's I, not gay. He raped the chick. You didn't hear that? <laughs> all, the, all the signs are here. I think he wants a dominant oh type of Ralph relationship. What do you uh, think? Well, I don't know what he wants. I don't know what he's after, but I'm going to tell you straight to your face right now, pal. Stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of my apartment. Stay out of my life. You All right. Got it. You got really. It. You're creepy. You're creepy. There's something disturbing about you. I'm telling you. I respect. And you need to see a psychiatrist. I respect and you so much that that's what I will do for you. Thank you. That would be and my Please kind see a doctor. Howard, I got hey. to ask you a question. Uh, and you gotta, no, I'm serious. Right. I'm being serious. Uh, uh, you mentioned guns and knives. Better get Ronnie. No, I mean, that's seriously, horrible. Sal's horrible. got a fixation. And no, I wouldn't invite him to my place. Ever. I don't even want to look over there now. <laughs> I mean, Richard, I'd invite. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Invite him. I mean, it's Scott, the engineer, the studio. I'd invite Scott any time. <laughs> I have invited Scott over to my place. Yeah. But no Sal. I mean, after I, this, no. I don't it's blame creepy. you. You I'm are just... treating me the same way your father treated you. So oh, I hope you're. In, I want to let you don't know anything about my father's I'm treatment. Constantly with me. the father and son. Yeah. Why is he your father? I about am this? not your right. father. You're 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 not healthy. After you see a psychiatrist and you get a clean bill of health. Then we'll talk. It's not He's got nice. mental issues. Sal, you got not. mental issues, Sal. Sal, you don't know it yet, but, but you're not, mentally ill. It's not nice to say you would invite Scott over me. It's not I nice would. to say. <laughs> it, but it's true. You, but, d but Gary it's not asked nice. me. It, it's not nice. It's not nice to say you want to be in my bed with me and cook for me and and, and come over and to shock you into reality. Uh, yeah. Sal, are you going to do? And it's based on all of this, are you going to go see anybody, or do you just sort of say, "Hey, we're those guys are nuts. Listen, there's nothing wrong with me." I, Howard made it clear. Stay away from me. No, I'll no. But are you going to go see somebody? To, no. Who's there to see? I like the guy. I mean, I admire so him. You don't and think I thanked him. You don't it. think there's anything wrong? You don't think maybe? Oh my God. No, I'm just serious. I'm just, if I asked to sleep over your house, you you said yesterday would be fine. There's nothing wrong. But I asked Howard Stern. It's Sal, you're stepping people. over the line, Sal. You're missing the whole point. You still, don't see, on the you show. That's you still it. don't see it. I see it. No, I, you don't. All right. You want me to see a therapist? I'll see a therapist. No, I all want right. you to want to see a therapist. I don't think I need to. Then, then, then don't. Then, right. then, then stay away from me. All right. And that's not mean to say. It's just it, I I'm, know. I I'm giving you, you tough love, son. Don't step <laughs> over the line, Sal. Now we're talking. Yeah. Don't don't start. Listen to the man. Don't step over the line. And believe me, what line? Your hairline? Get yeah. away right now. That's why I want to stay by Howard's place. <laughs> but what? But did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's where you need to be away. Lucky no, me. And seriously, how, uh, Sal. Sal, uh, you're I'm amazing. Not, uh, I'm not going to goof on you because this is so beyond funny at this point. It's frightening everyone. <laughs> I'm being dead serious with you. All right, what are you thinking, Doug? No, I want to know if his wife knows. But also, like Gary was just saying, like at any point in your head, did you say to yourself, "This is crazy. Yes. I'm crazy." Yes, I panicked. I panicked yesterday morning. I, I almost had a panic attack.
After we discussed this with you or before? Before. before. When I walked in that morning, because you didn't reply to my email, so I'm like, oh, man. Uh, how, Howard, uh, I got to tell you. I, I have did, no place to stay. I didn't see this email <laughs> till after we t spoke yesterday, but I guess at some time during the night, he sent me an email. I haven't heard back what, from Howard. What the hell's going on? I'm uh, waiting to pack my bags. Uh, <laughs> it was crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can you imagine what was going on in his head? <laughs> well, he yeah. said to me yesterday, I don't believe that Gary ever sent him my email. Because he's keeping Keeping him from me. Yeah. Dude, you're looking at me like a lover. But no, 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 no I am not. Looking at me. You're looking at me like a lover. No. I'm this, almost like a god. I'm the secret to your happiness. Yeah, you're a ha your secret to happiness, but not a lover, man. All right. No you're way. the girl who holds just the keys. Good, it's a good guy that, just, that, that has brought me happiness. So what percentage of your day, honestly, do you just sit there and think about Howard? And scenarios that... Be I honest. Know, right? Okay. Like, be honest. The... My day is consumed with thinking about the show, which in turn would make Howard happy. You're lying because you've already no, said true. to us a number of times, hold it, you've said to us a number of times, I pictured that we would do this. I pictured that right. we would do that. I picture, I picture. Right. You have whole scenarios in your brain of what you and Howard have already done together. Okay, that is, that's an extension of the show because if, oh. if we, I'll tell you why. <laughs> what I do is I sit down, I thought, okay, if Howard says yes, how can I make this an entertaining night? So I thought of a few scenarios. <laughs> I'm just telling you. All right, be honest, yes. Yeah, I'm being honest. I, I thought of things that could be interesting, like you would do if you had a party or something, Robin. And that's what I did. But my day I've never sat and thought, you know, Howard and I are so comfortable together. We can sit on the couch and not say anything. Well, I'm saying that now. I go, that's the type of... But how do you know that I would be comfortable sitting on a couch not saying anything? See, I don't. And that's the no, problem. That's where you that's have where a problem. That's what cookie. I have to realize. Yeah. Right. And I, I'm not like that. Right. I, have to I don't like sitting on a couch with you not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have handcuffs. You're feeling constantly like you need something to say. <laughs> yeah. And another question. Here's Sal's day. 4.30, wake up. 4.31, start to stalk Howard and think about him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my day is consumed with the show I, I i haven't even written any stand-up in six months because every thought that i have that could relate to the show i put into the show that's good do you sometimes though <clears throat> then visualize what howard's going to think of what you've written yes when i Definitely. finalize it as howard being the guy who, who it is the howard stern show i try to write and create within the vein of what howard would find interesting but yes. then you play it for him you do it in your head and you have him reacting Sometimes I see a scenario of Howard liking it, but uh -huh. but any artist would or wouldn't. No, when, no, when no, you no, create no, no, material, no. yes. What I don't it, think it's Gary? the same. <laughs> I had to get the email because I just wanted to quote it. It's uh, It came at 11.40 the night before last. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's Howard's reply? Six question marks in a row. I need to pack my bags, man. Now I'm screwed. It's 12 a.m. and I have no response. <laughs> Holy it mackerel. It was late, and he didn't respond. That's all. <laughs> so that Meanwhile, Gary sends me Sal's email about <laughs> Sal wants to... I read this thing. Sal wants to sleep over my apartment. I write back to Gary. What the F is this? Right. With a question mark. I go, what, 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 what bit is this? So then Gary goes, look, I had to call you. Now, I'm sick as a dog. Uh -huh. He says, I had to call you. I go, I said, why, why is this Sal doing a bit? <laughs> and and, and Gary goes, I, I got to tell you something. I don't think Sal's doing a bit. This is Sal. I go, you're kidding me. He's for real? And Howard goes, no, no, you're, be, you, Gary, you're being pranked. And, I, and then I'm feeling like a rube, but I don't know. I, I, no, I, I think you right. called this one right, You Gary. were right, Gary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sal called me uh, about 10 minutes or so after he sent the email. And, and I, it, for five minutes, I was on the phone with him saying, dude, just stop. You're kidding with me. You're kidding with me. You're kidding. This is a joke. This is a joke. Right. I, I was just like, please but, tell me this is a joke. Even right now, I'm saying, just tell us this is a joke. <laughs> we're all, we're all but, a joke. but Howard, do you realize how many people he spoke, he spoke to? Lewis, he spoke to me. He spoke to Doug. He spoke to a lot of people. We all oh. told him it was a bad idea. Yeah. I spoke to Lewis before this. Last week I had lunch with Lewis on right. how to... Did he to tell you that this was a good idea? Too? What did you speak to Lewis about? How to what? Just how to get, you know... Uh, Closer I, to you. Yeah, without, without it sounding gay. How to win over your friendship over and above the profession. Now, how would Can Lewis you imagine know? having a lunch about Lewis that? Lewis just gave okay. me some suggestions. <laughs> what is Lewis's suggestion? He says, you look, Howard is so... <laughs> Howard is such a great... <laughs> you see, when you hang out with... Lewis, Daniel, that must have been the weirdest lunch of your life. No, no, no. How I weird. said you need to get over whatever feelings you're having right. inside you. I said that everything that you're feeling inside has nothing to do with Howard and has everything to do with your insecurity. Right. And I said yeah. that if it's that important for you to have just lunch with Howard, then maybe someday you could just say, hey, you want to get a bite to eat? I don't think it would be a big deal. I never said you should ask him for a sleepover party. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I yeah, thought where it was did you weird make that leap? When I take like Sal, I took Sal and Richard to dinner uh, to say, hey, you guys are doing a good job. 
and his hands are shaking and everything. I didn't realize he's all nervous. Yeah, this that's is a, like a yeah, first date. That's him. a good point. Mm-hmm. Why the sleepover? Like, why not, if you want to be Howard Stern, why not dinner? Dinner is feasible. Only because... I your had, wife was out of town. Like, yeah. his wife was out of town. Like, this was his moment. You know what I mean? <laughs> See, it's if my like wife was out of town, I'd be thinking about how to get over a chick's apartment. Go to scores. <laughs> Something. <laughs> I can't go to scores. My wife would, you know. She, hey, she by would, the way, by the can way, his, can, I, uh, can I t- talk I'm to them scores. about the, uh, the phone call you got Wednesday night? Why you had to go home Wednesday night? Yeah, you could tell him. <laughs> um, me and Sal were out at, a, out at a comedy club, and he got a phone call from his wife in California. He was going to stay at my place Wednesday night, but he had to go home and take the trash out. <laughs> she called from California yeah. to take the well, trash out? I called her. I said, listen, I'm going to stay over Christie's house. She goes, you have to take the garbage out. The house is going to stink, and you have to bring the mail in. I go, well, it's and real late. It? I went home. Yeah, yeah you're pussy whip. God. No, I did the right thing. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, know. make fun of me some more. <laughs> <laughs> you wow, know, this ain't nice, Lewis. What this a di- nice. what a lunch. That's the best. I I went to I went to lunch with Lewis to find out how I can get closer to Howard. Can you imagine this lunch? You get together with a guy, and all he can do is talk about how he can be closer to you. Yeah. No, I th- you I should have was, alerted the authorities. I thought it was a fairly pleasant conversation. I mean, I think Sal has his own insecurities, just as everyone else that works for the show does, but. I mean, I walk in this morning, and Sal says, hey, good morning, Benedict Arnold. No. Right, right, right. Do you guys go to lunch often, or was that the first no, time? No, no, no. We've only gone to lunch a couple times. D- didn't you think... I like that he's turning to Lewis for some tips. Right. I mean, Lewis, I mean, Lewis, you hardly know. I, I, no. I've, I've talked to Lewis four times. <laughs> Lewis, let me tell you, something, Lewis is the voice of reason, because everybody in this place, like Lewis says, has an insecurity and has their own agenda. Everybody here, Howard, wants to please you, believe me. Gary, you well, are the biggest ass kisser out of job. ever. No, Gary, no, no, you no, come no, in no. here... Sal, look Look at me. Why, why do you, spark why do you out attack all the time? Sal, Sal, I'm not. Sal, I'm just we work out. together. I hire, you know, I, I'm the guy who approves right. of Gary being the producer in this. That's night. my point. Right. Okay. We're that's all here what, to please you. That's called work. No, no, we're all here to work to make right. the show better. Right. right. That's, that's what I mean. Nobody else thinks of it as just pleasing Howard. Right. We're doing Everybody's our jobs. There's only we're one thing all on my doing what we can to be good at our jobs. Right. And to me, to be good no at my job is to do something great for the show. No one's kissing my ass. To do something great No one's trying to outdo you in terms of. You know, getting in uh, your way near me. I understand. Gary's not kissing my ass, so he can be closest right. to me. Right. You know, you. What do you want? You're saying like Gary needs to move over so you can have a little piece of yeah. Gary. And you know what? When something. What are you saying? When I give Howard <laughs> something good that works for the show, I'm like, damn, I'm I'm satisfied that I somehow made the show better. I don't sit there and go, I've pleased Howard. No, I just don't. I'm satisfied that I made the show no, better you... because the show relates to Howard being satisfied. All right, listen to me. Listen to me. You don't Let's get end it, this Gary. lunacy. You don't get it. <laughs> Gary doesn't get it. Gary doesn't get it. <laughs> I don't think he ever will. I'm not sure you get it. I get it. I completely get Time it. Time for another lunch with Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lewis, this is your pet project. Hey, Lewis, I blame you for this. Uh, I'm, like, I'm like the Dr. Phil at K-Rock all of a sudden. You should have taken a fork and stuck it in his head. Who knew? I didn't know Lewis was the one you go to when you have a problem. I'm going to be calling no, you. No, Lewis is the one you go to when you want to get close to me. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, yes. I didn't know I even I was supposed to be doing that. Lewis has a specific skill. Lewis, how would I get closer to Rob? <laughs> <laughs> this is a riot. Hey, Pop, you're on the air. Yeah, this is, this is Sal. Yo, Sal, you're connected. You was in the street, now you're connected. So, you know, don't mess it up because you're messing it up. Now people are going to see you before they say, yo, it's Sal. Now they're going to see you. Yo, let's get the hell out of here. Dominic, you're on the air. <laughs> there is a psychiatric term for what he has. Yeah, I'm sure you have it, too. Whack job. Uh, okay, ready? Yours it's, is called fat pig and It's called obsessive ideation. And what it is is the following. And I'm reading from a book called DSM-5. It's how we define the psychiatric illness he has. He's obsessed with the thought or personality of a person. He himself has thoughts that are not connected. He fantasizes about a relationship, whether it be emotional or sexual. When not pleased and can't reach this goal, can often become violent. When will you diagnose with that? Then? Yeah, see. <laughs> yeah, but there's no violence and there's nothing sexual. No, no not yet. No, no, no. Well, yeah, but you well, have so an emotional. Far, you've been able to make headway. Now that you can't get to this next level, you want to. I'm fine. I'm yeah, fine. but you hear what Dominic said? Yeah. Sexual or emotional? Right. It's the emotional part. I want people to know right. it's emotional. Well, because you sexual. think this will solve your unhappiness. Right. But right. He's already said that. Howard makes him happy and he needs to be closer. And when it doesn't reach it, uh-oh. 
That's what I'm it's saying. Like, it can it's get like, to a point where he decides, you know what, maybe I need to take some other action. I have to get his attention. Well, like it's, that's spray it. How it said the it. Cullen, the King Cullen. <laughs> Dominic, How it just said it. Dominic, what do I do? Well, first of all, you just said it, and that is that with other actions, because I must have him notice me. So, you know can what? I ask a question? Sure. Did you have any relationship with your dad? A uh, very awkward one. Ah. Very cold. But he's very comfortable with Howard when they just sit and watch TV together. They don't even. I'm have the to dad. <laughs> I'm I'm the good dad. And I when would... you say cold, he he wouldn't react to you at all. Uh, no, not really. Uh oh. -uh. He would just put me. In... My dad was Sicilian, so that was it. What he said is how it went. And, and no of course, questions asked. Boo hoo. Howard is a more understanding man. Therapy What's that? sessions all yeah, the time. Yeah, um, I don't think Howard's an understanding man. I think uh, you know Howard doesn't. Howard has no obligation to understand what I what I need. It's Actually, not... Howard is just like his dad. He's still trying to get his attention. Right. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You know, Sal... uh, if, if if you were my son, I'd put you in a pizzeria. <laughs> even, even before Sal was working here, getting your approval was really, really, really important to him because he used to send in song parodies and stuff. And if he didn't get a response in like a day. He would just start, start instant messaging me or calling me and saying, well, what do you hear, what do you know? All right, listen, this is all getting all too creepy. I choose to ignore it. it. You know, he's got a good act, though, because I never knew he was this crazy. Yeah, he's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> For you, you're fine. <laughs> For I keep bringing crazy. in one crazy person after <laughs> I another. Know, what is it? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Can we Surrounded have... by kooks. Sal, do you have any fantasies about how happy you could be? Or well, we went through that already, Dominic. Yeah. If you heard earlier, he oh. went through them all. And, and uh, Oh, my God. Are they scary? Well, they're, they're the answer to all of his problems. It, it's like this, Dominic. Imagine a steak being taken away from you. Nah. There you go. Is that scary uh, enough? All right. Dominic, thank you. Bye. I think Dominic suffers from the same thing. But that's oh, absolutely. <laughs> that's why he recognized the syndrome so quick. <laughs> yeah, but he won. Oh, he gets that's... in. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, never mind. All right. All right. All right. He won. He won. I'm in the clear. I uh, I apologize for creeping I'm in the clear. No, Howard, you're not. No, I, I would leave the mic open and just get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic won. I didn't. Well, be mad at Dominic, not yeah, me. Yeah, take it out on him. That's right. easy. That's too easy. <laughs> Got to take a break. We'll be back. We're done with the Sal show for today. What happened again, Sal? Nothing. I'm just, I was just trying to uh, re-explain how I felt, but apparently it's too creepy and all this gay talk, so it's all over. Just back to work. No more of that garbage. How do you think you came off today? You know, I just try to come off sincere. I try to come off as somebody to express his gratitude, and everything just turns around, and everybody just, you know, just piles on top of me. I don't know why. I don't know why. You know, so it's kind of weird that, you know, I... I asked the guy to crash at his place, and it just turned into a whole psychiatric ward in, that, in there. Now, do you blame Howard? No, I don't blame Howard. I blame myself because apparently I didn't think this out. I still don't see what is wrong by asking somebody that you get along with to stay at his place. But see, so you don't think you did anything wrong? By asking him to stay at his place, I don't think I did anything wrong at all. But do you think like, your thought process, your rationale is wrong as to why? Yeah, I think the whole thing and my rationale, I think all of that's got to slow down big time. I mean, maybe these guys are trying to send me a message. I, I think I'm starting to get it, so. And that is just to keep the relationship professional and just to continue to do what I do. Just do my thing. That's, that's the most important thing. Because, uh, I don't know, I'm creeping people out. I don't know why. I mean, if somebody came up to me and said, hey, I really admire you or whatever, and I would take it as a compliment. In this place, they take it as you're a kook and you should be fired. So I'm not going to be, uh, you know, I'm just going to try to keep everything to myself. All right, so good luck, man. Thank you. All right, here's the uh, Sal email. Everybody agrees Sal's a psycho. Yo, fellas, listening to the whole Sal thing this morning was effing hilarious. Like with all the psychopaths, you can't see it from a realistic perspective. Here's another one. Wow, Sal the stockbroker is quite the character. This morning was entertaining yet very disturbing. Howard, Sal will not only be, Sal will not be satisfied until he and you become one. <laughs> now that's scary. <laughs> one. How scary is he, Howard? I, I used to wonder before he was on the show why he had such animosity toward Gary. Now it's so clear. He was jealous that Gary had a relationship with Howard and Sal didn't feel Gary was worthy of Howard's friendship. He's a sick little boy. I really would be worried about this situation. Keep close tabs on this nut. <laughs> Sounds to me like Sal wants you to play Michael Jackson while he plays Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> Maybe between drinks and cocaine, Artie can bring you guys some French fries. What a weirdo. <laughs> Sounds like a fun night. Just the fact that Sal was fantasizing about making you burgers and watching TV. And by the way, that's the thing Beth does with me. 
Right. Right. He wants to be your girlfriend. He's going to cook for you. I mean, Beth makes me turkey. He wants to make better turkey burgers. And he wants to uh, watch the shows that you watch with her or with him. There's no room for her. She better watch out. I know. He's going to knock her right out of the bed. Howard, it's totally creepy. I am truly afraid for you and your staff. He might come in one day and go postal on everyone because he can't have you. It's like the nerdy kid at school that wants to be accepted by the popular kid. They end up flipping out. I'm okay. of the opinion that he really doesn't even know that, and you know, he may want you sexually, and he's not even aware of it. No, oh, I, I, I'm aware of it. <laughs> he wants to lay in bed with me and yeah. wants to vibe. But that's what I'm saying. He may want something he doesn't even know he wants. Uh, he says, uh, I can't even believe he admitted all this stuff. That shows you how crazy he is. The same person would never admit those things. It's true. When you have those thoughts, you keep them to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Ralph. Oh, my God. Where do I start? <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, I told Ralph yesterday, I said, you better listen to oh, this. Oh, yeah, you got to hear that. Oh, yeah, I woke myself early for, up for early for this. For, first of all, I mean, if, he wasn't, if he wasn't a stalker, he would ask you himself, like, why is he going through Gary? It's like in high school, you know, like, uh, see if Howard likes me. All right, he's explained that, actually, because his email was broken. It, so he said he would have sent it to me himself. All right, and, and there's also a thing called a hotel. I mean, why, why would he even think of bothering you? Well, there's also about 50 people who would put him up. And would yeah, happen. But, but I wouldn't think to get put up by All somebody right, but let's at work. Say I he would stay at a hotel if I would But he's got working. a lot of friends who would put him up, you know, people who work on the show. He, the point was, he didn't need to be put up. He wanted to be in my apartment. It was an excuse for him to get over there. Yeah. But it, it, it's like, I mean, it's like making a clumsy grab for a girl, you know. He, he, he know. Like, should have taken his time a little bit. Well, the scary thing for me is... You just don't have to sleep over, you know. Get, get me some dinner, buy me a drink. Well, the scary thing for me is, is that, like, you know, first he's putting down, I'm friendly with you. Yeah. He doesn't like that. Yeah, evaluating all your friends and... Yeah, and Dominic doesn't deserve to be there. Um, it, it took Dominic years to force himself upon you. And also, yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, that just didn't Sounds happen overnight. Work come out, yeah, cut out for it. It takes a lot Dominic of work. You, down. you just don't get in the apartment. <laughs> Cost Dominic about two hundred grand. Yeah. Hey, hey, Sal, is Sal, is Sal there? <laughs> Where is Skippy? He's definitely yeah, I know. Here. And then it's just like the the other creepy thing is that like this whole thing. You didn't hear it this morning, but Sal's convinced that I make his life better, and that if he stays with me. He'll be happy. Right. He wasn't happy until he got here. Well, and now he wants to be even more happy, that there could be more happiness. Well, and he well, wants to take our relationship to the next level. Well, well, you, know what, <laughs> you, you know what's scary is that, he, you know, he's saying he looks up to you, which, which is nice and all, but, like, the two people he looks up to are you and Ace Freely. No. I mean, no offense to you. You're a great guy, but this is your role model or you know, Ace Freely? <laughs> he doesn't pick him, huh? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I mean, there's, there's nobody else you could look up to. I don't know. The whole thing's weird. Hey, Sal, you know and what? you know what was weird? Like, Sal came in this morning, and he was talking to me, and I go, I feel like a really hot chick right now, and I'm, and he's raping me with his eyes. Well, you know what? It's also now you know what it feels like for a girl to yeah. be hit on by a guy she has absolutely no interest in. Wow. i got to tell you something. It is the worst feeling yeah. in the world. What do you do? And, and now I felt like he was staring at me, and I felt like I felt like I had boobs. Yeah, things are <laughs> happening for him that are definitely not being reciprocated. In right. You. <laughs> you know what's great now? When you look at him, you know what's going on behind those wacky eyes. I know. It's scary. <laughs> and I feel kind of femme. Like, there's a guy who really wants me. Well, even when, I mean, he fantasizes oh. about your whole life. He has this huge apartment. I'm like, he has no idea. He's never seen anything about your apartment, but he's pictured it in his mind. But he even he, said, I would lay in the bed with you because I know you have a big bed. Right. He's got I mean, this huge bed so we could be in the bed together. Is, 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 let me ask you a question. Is it a custom bed he's asking you? Yeah, he wants to know. He has visions of a custom bed. I've imagined it's a custom bed. You know, Ralph, uh, Ralph, yeah. you, out of all people, yeah. you are the biggest user in the world. You are a slime. You're a scumbag. You are a slithering, dirty snake. Uh -huh. You called up the post. You leaked out stories about Howard. You go to parties with Howard. You leech on Howard. I don't do any of that. I just told Howard I simply admire him. What, That's what, it. What, wait, what happened when you were just saying before I was a nice guy? <laughs> you, right. And then, you know what? You stuck the nut. I said, I said you're a nice guy out of respect to being Howard's friend. But you know what? I would never, I would never leech Should on I the man. Should I say something? It sounds to me like you're very jealous. 
jealous. I'm, I'm not I, jealous, I, I Ralph, at all. It's not nice what he's saying. Hey, you're saying, you're saying, saying now, let me, let, let me tell you go something. to parties with hey, Howard. Here, here's why me and Howard are friends. sounds to me like hey, you hey, hey, are. Hey, I mean, uh, Sal, let me give you some advice. This is why me and Howard are friends. I would never ask to stay over at his apartment. No kidding, dude. You're, I mean, that's ridiculous. You know what? You're more of a sneak. And I'm friends with him. You slithered your way into this man's oh, life. Goodness. You're a slithering, dirty snake. How did he do snake. that? How did I do How? that? I don't know. Over the course of many, many years. No, it didn't you know take him long at all. <laughs> Whatever the Why case do you think be. he hey, slithered Ralph. his way Hey, in. Ralph, how come you leaked out stories about Howard and his relationships to the newspapers? I didn't do that. Yes, you did. And you know what? The journalist was on the air. He talked to Howard about how... Oh, and please. How oh, why? We can't talk about this? That didn't happen. Yes, it, it did. It didn't happen. It itself. did. It was the guy from the Daily News who was on the air, and how it was really disgusting. And the guy came him. on, and he said he didn't get it. It got Ralph. denied. It got, oh, it I got denied. Yeah, it didn't happen. Well, whatever happen. the case may be. But you know what, Howard? I mean, uh, uh, But Ralph, you built that up in your mind. But Ralph, why are you painting me out to be an evil, psychotic, gay guy? <laughs> I didn't say you were gay. <laughs> yes, you did. I, yes, you did. did I did. say that? You're making me out to be an evil, psycho, gay homo and I'm just a guy who's working for Howard who admires Howard and I asked the freaking guy to spend a night no. at his place because no, I'm right, wait, 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 you, you oh, want more now, you want to this, take this, our relationship this is the, this to the, is the next problem level. this is the problem you didn't just you went into a whole thing and now you're getting defensive about it I'm you're like completely psychotic you. about I'm it I'm listening to Howard Howard said stay away I'm staying away I'm respecting Howard's wishes I'm keeping my, I am no, you're the one making me crazy you stupid queer no I think you're delusional scary and crazy at least I don't change my hair to look like Howard's. I don't wear glasses like Howard. You look like you look like a, a awful version of Howard. If Howard's mother was, if Howard's mom could conceive through the back end, you would be the product that she would make. You, you understand? Sound, you Goodness. sound. Can I be honest with it's you? It's what he is. He's an a hole version of you. you if there was a you version, sound, that, hey, hey, Sal, you, but you know what? the opposite We're of you, friends. Howard. <laughs> what? I said, but I'm friends with Howard, and you're not. It doesn't matter what you are. It doesn't matter. I like that I'm the hot version of me. Uh, look at that yeah. fighting over you. Sal, this is what it sounds like to me. Sal, come on. You sound very envious of Ralph. I'm you can't crazy. figure out how to be my best friend. You don't know friend. how he managed to do it, and you can't. Sal, I like you give Ralph. me $1,000, I'll sit you down and give you a class how to be Howard's friend. Oh, my. It's not that. You can do that? I'll give you some pointers. <laughs> can you help him? <laughs> hey, Ralph, have you, ever, have you ever asked Howard for a favor? Have you ever asked him, like, maybe to borrow a couple of dollars? Have you ever asked him? To... No, I've never yeah, asked him for money. Oh, he hasn't. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What else Howard. do you think I might have asked him? I don't know. It doesn't matter what you ask. What other fantasies do you have, Sam? Yeah. What, else, what, no else, what else do me and Howard do? I have no fantasies. None. Oh, what do you my. think? What do you think Ralph and I are up to? I don't know. All I know is that whatever you do, Ralph is behind you like a wart on your ass. That's all I know. How do and you know that? Because he calls in every day with the stories of the parties you were at. He calls in and interjects with his opinion about people you're speaking about because he was there. He's always there. You, it sounds to you like he's always with me. Right. And you're and not. At least he projects that. So that, that he, now, well, that's now, fine. Let's, now let's get the reality. It. No, okay. we, neither of us project that. Out of respect. Howard, how when was the last time we hung out somewhere? I'd say about eight months ago. Yeah. You Very know good, what? Howard. I'm sitting there saying to myself, I I'm don't getting get better. that impression of Ralph and you. I don't How know. Am I in the that. goddamn Twilight Zone? I hang out with yeah. Robin more than I do, Howard. You're crazy. All of you people are crazy. You people are just taking every word I say, stretching it like a pizza, and you're making it out to <laughs> be psycho. Again. Whatever I say right now, whatever I say. Sal, I, I, listen to me. <laughs> whatever if I say. you respect me at all, you sound crazy. And crazier and crazier. Listen, seriously, saying, Sal. You've listened to the show for 20 years, right? I'm saying that, Ralph. It's not I, 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 nice. Sal, it's you've not... listened to the show for 20 years, right? Go ahead. Why yes. would you even? Act, don't you know? If you knew him at all, why would you even? Why would you not shut up at this point? And why would you even ask him to stay over his house? <laughs> why would you admit? That you want to cook turkey. That's what Beth does for me. Oh, you yeah. want to cook turkey burgers for me. Get into bed and watch Survivor with me. And drink beers. Can you make peanut butter brownies? And then, and, you, and then you admit that you don't even want to be friends with anyone else. Just me. You don't have friends. You want to be my friend. You only want to be my friend because I'm famous. No, you don't know anything about right. me. You don't even know. Why, why put all this effort into me? No, because I don't think I'm it's famous. because you're famous, Howard. He, I mean, he's developed a relationship with you over 20 years. I mean, he said that. You know? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On it, the it, radio. It's not just you're famous. It's like he's connected to you in some right. way. And, and then he tells me I'm going to make his life better. 
I by said being you friends made, with me. You made my life better as a person. You and know, you, you said now you want more. You do more. that. You, you touch want people more. Uh, with your humor. Listen to me. All right. <laughs> you need help. All right, I'll there's get no the help. There's no shame in getting help. But there's not. it's not nice for Ralph to come on the air and paint me out to be an evil gay psycho. That's not right. All it's of a sudden, now, right. now Sal, you want to change the show. Sal, I'm not doing anything. You're doing a good job of it yourself. You didn't say gay, Sal. Yeah, what did I call you gay? I think he's gay. Who? You. Get out of here. Do you want to be in what? bed with me and cook for me? I don't no, want to. I don't think I you're gay. Did I just you think ever, you're crazy. Do you want to sit on the couch and we're not even going to talk? We're just going to sit next to each other? I'm <laughs> saying that your, your company. Did, did, are those the words out of your mouth? Yes. You're, right. Even you quiet, your company is soothing. Ooh. Oh, That's what I meant. Oh, but how Wait did you know that? <laughs> you don't get it. It's just see, I didn't I'm think just it was possible how for you to be polite. How do you know my company is soothing? I had. I'm getting drained. I'm dying over here. I am dying. The blood is, is going my, to my feet, dude. I'm going to faint. Why is my company I, soothing? Tell me why. I, it's not. Nothing is. I'm no. not going to be honest. When we're now. on the couch together, sitting together, watching Survivor, not talking, why is my company soothing? It's like a um, a shelter. Like um, let him finish. Okay. It's like um, you sit with your mom. You just feel safer. It's uh, like a security. All right. It's just nice to be with you because. You're a good guy who's made my life a little a little better. So I'm thinking, I'm saying to me, I'm saying to you like I don't, you don't, you're not obligated to talk to me and make me laugh. And I'm saying like if we sit on a couch, watch TV, I'm just comfortable, like I would be with a with a pal. With a girl. No, yeah. not with a girl. See, there you go. You go into the girl thing. It's, it's a no girl thing. No different than me. It's not it's a, a girl. It's a bad thing. thing. No, it's worse. What is it? I told you during the break when I was listening to this over and over again, and just the way he's talking, he's talking about you like you're Jesus. I swear, the way right. somebody said, being with Jesus is soothing. Knowing that Jesus is in my corner makes me, you know, calm and soothing. It's like you're a god. Yeah, I imagine the disciples used to talk like yeah. this. Yeah, and that's that should, you know, and that I I just think you're that you're a good, do you good think, person. Do you think I, have, I think. Do you think I have powers? No, I do. <laughs> Howard, you I know got, what? I was thinking what? that too. I got three it. words for you, Mark David Chapman. No, and I said the, to myself in the back room after we were listening to him this morning that Howard could start a religion. Sal would be the first one to drink the Kool Aid. Sal, are my enemies your enemies? Um, no. You know who's? You know what enemies? Are my enemies your enemies? I need to know. Yeah, I mean, to a certain degree. Well, okay. his friends I mean, aren't your course. friends. All right. We share the similarities. <laughs> all right. Like you're, all friends, we share similarities. When I start my like religion, you're friends. the first guy. <laughs> like all friends. I'm we are already. not friends, so. I know. And I not. don't mean that in a mean way. I know. We're I know. just not. I know. I don't know you. That's okay. And you don't know me. You just know a radio guy. Right. Now, okay. you might have been friends down the road, but now right. you've blown it. Down. No, it'll never happen. And the other thing I was a little fascinated about is that, is that there's rules. Like Rob was saying, now there's rules. Like, Sal, you made fun of me for years about my, my teeth, my wife, even my kids, and I never said that's not right. Why is this not right to goof on you? No, it's not. It's You've changed the rules. You can goof on me all you want. I'm saying that, Rob, I don't like to be painted as an evil whore. Wait, I don't like to be painted as a whore too. I didn't jacket. say you were evil. It's like, Gary, you, you know, and the show's a joke. Thing. People I mean, are joking around with everybody, it. and then you explode. You're like a psycho. No, but yeah, Rob, Sal, how many years have you sat and listened to this happen to somebody else? Somebody comes in and says yeah. something weird. Listen, right. And then Robin. Ralph calls in and comments on them. You're just in that now. We don't stop it just because it's you. You listen to me, Robin. Howard just said he could burn me at the stake if I was his kid. I mean, what am I? I mean, <laughs> Robin, you ripped me. Artie's ripping me. That's fine. But I'm saying, uh, Ralph, there's always an agenda with Ralph. Ralph, it's intentional evil with Ralph. He just <laughs> enjoys that. He enjoys. If I bent over to pick up my teeth after somebody cracked me in the face, Ralph would kick me in the ass. That's, that's, that's true. I, 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 you I love you, Sal. You, love, you don't sound like you love me. You're just not. What you're doing, Ralph, is not funny. It's just completely It's malicious. not fun. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not Sal, fun. Sal, can I say something? When we were in Atlantic City for the John fight, John Cabby fight, after the fight, Ralph was on the stage, and you started an enormous Ralph is a fag chant. Thank God. Somebody had to. Yeah, so. Uh, what's the yeah, so what's the, hey, hey, Howard, let me ask you a quick question. You have a choice. You have to have somebody over your house. Sal? High pitch Eric or Gary the retard. Wow. Ooh, I can't see letting the high pitch in. How about F Mary Kill? I Gary think I retard. I think I would gee, now no one I know about Sal. Maybe Gary the Retard. Yeah. Wow. That's your, your best choice. Hey, hey Sal, F F Mary Kill, Jenny McCarthy, Pam Anderson, Howard. <laughs> You better marry me. Well, I'd kill Pam because she has she has a disease. So you're either gonna ever marry her. Oh, again, there, there you go. You are gay. 
Jenny McCarthy, she's so annoying, I would just strangle her immediately as well. So I'd Thank lay, you, darling. I would rape her and then lay her over Pam's dead carcass. Oh he's marrying and effing you, is what he's saying. I think he's going to marry me, and F me, and then kill me. <laughs> that is just weird. I'm sorry. Weird, wild, funny stuff. Yeah, well, I'm all right. sorry, Howard. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. Get help. That's all. all. Right. Help all is right. on the way. Okay. And I just we like, hope just drained. I mean, I feel like I feel like I just went in ten rounds of boxing. I mean, I feel emotionally exhausted. I walk in the hallway and people like like look at me like I'm a nut. Because <laughs> <laughs> are they wrong? Yeah, I'm not a nut. I'm a nice guy. I'm a father of three. I'm a caring person. I cry at movies. I I I go to barbecues. I enjoy people. I like creating comedy. I'm just, I, I just you admire, have three kids? I admire Howard Stern for the greatness that he has done over 20 years of radio, and I wanted to get slightly closer to know him better as a person. Oh. Yeah, you just, you just made a clumsy grab, Sal. You should have had, asked him out for drinks or something first. No, I, I don't want to, and that's that's all it is. All right. And now I get to spend the whole weekend with Sal where he goes over it. Sal, we'll, we'll sit together, and he'll say, <laughs> do you think I was off? Yeah, I think you were off. And then he'll like, wait a half an hour. And I'll go, but really, do you think I was off? Like, he'll Child, never get it. Go back and do the good work that you do. Thank that's you. why you're here, Thank and you. that's why we appreciate you. Thank you very much. And don't walk around the halls feeling self-conscious. Thank you. <laughs> While, when we talk about you, we will try to do it without staring. No, You, you, you two have so much in common, though. You both watch Survivor. <laughs> that's true. We both I, love that show. I don't like Lost. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'll watch. I won't invite you over on Wednesday night, then. <laughs> Thursday night's our night, my friend. Artie and I were laughing that Sal had the fantasy down so much that he even had the brand of beers you were going to drink. Yeah, what, Coronas. You're going to have Coronas. You're going to throw a couple of Coronas back. I don't drink beer. And he Nobody. knew it was on TV that night. Yeah, it was a whole weird thing. <laughs> what do you mean? How do you know that? Because he said it. He said, I'll come over, I'll cook you, we'll have a couple of Coronas. Yeah. Right. Eh, whatever. He really had details to this fantasy. <laughs> I just can't wait to see Gary in the limo with Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> and Sal. That's true. Yeah. Right. <laughs>